And I'm going to take our first two cotton quilts, so just bring them in to the touch, gently drop it in over to one side, and then we're going to take our again to touch our opposite hand. Just ensuring that that opposite shoulder is really pointed down. Make that nice stretch through the spine. And then very gently just drawing the Nice. Now stay there and then take your right leg off the floor, keep your head up, and just move your hips a little opposite each other time. Now, if this gets too much, you can drop the head down, drawing the belly button to your spine, nice and simple and complete. Okay, and you can also take the arms up here and make sure that your chin is definitely away from.
hug those knees down. Good job. Take a deep breath. A lovely work. All right, place your feet down to the floor and just think of that pelvic roll up and find that break. So again, you've got options with your arms. How firm is the heel? Yeah? A little bit gentler down on the floor, on your hips or on the floor completely. Yeah? So make sure we draw feet in line with our body, hips in line, everything's nice and square. And we're going to start this roll up from right down low in our lower pelvic floor muscles. So thinking about bringing our hips and towards our ribs. As you tuck your lower part of your pelvis, let your heel tuck it up off the mat very, very slowly. So pull me down as you go up. Make sure that's your double angle work here. Yeah. And then keeping at the top, rising to the balls of the feet, keeping those knees in line, and then rolling down. All the way down through that spine. Dropping the bottom, dropping the heel. Get tuck and sweep to roll back up. Then really taking your time to try to sweep to make that movement. All the way up. Feeling at the top, rising. Feeling like your hips pushing up here. And And dropping the heels. Tucking it back up, squeeze to roll back up. And I really articulate that journey up the, through the spine. Then come up to the top and squeeze your knees here. And then roll it down. We're going to keep it really smooth, like a smooth transition down. Nice. Okay, next one we're going to stay at the very top. Rolling it up. Find that peak position. And then rise to the balls of your feet. Okay, now if you don't have your arms up, not to worry. You can just do this with your legs. You can open them in a slight open and squeeze back in. And open and squeeze. Good deep breath. And Good, we've got four and three. See if you can go a little bit higher for the last two. And last one. Hold it there as you squeeze the bottom, push a little bit higher. You can feel your blood will touch your tummy as you push up. And roll down. Great work, everyone. Okay, a quick ritual for this thing like the break. Nice. Okay, let's move into single leg work now. This is taking your left knee into your chest, keeping the legs tight casual. And as always, just opening that hip up and sweep down to a circle. Just ground one direction and then reverse. And just really focusing on finding that rhythm and bringing it out. And then sending that leg up towards the roof, you can go to the back of the knee and find a circle through your ankle. Both directions. You can get any of those clicks out. Nice. All right, we're going to move into those circles now, my lovely. So you're taking your head in the same head down as your leg. Other arm up and then other arm, both arms up and then your feet down here as well. So you keep that one nice and straight. So you're going to open out to the side of the back. Make sure it's really thick. So stay really square, ground, and squeeze easy. Inhale two, roll, and squeeze it up. 
going to reverse and say, fold to lower. Reaching out to the side and scoring the neck. And down and circle. Squeeze the lift. Down. And then reversing that movement. Bring this circle. Good. Now take a flex through the foot. You're going to take arms and legs along. And then as you exhale, you're going to pop the foot, press the hands down and come up to a little crunch. Press down. So inhale, flex.
Nice.
I used sometimes to think the beginning of the day was a bit too They weren't seen as okay. We had a friend who's not too big for us, so it does get to that place and not open up. And that feels quite enticing for them. And then just bending that knee, cross it over your back knee quickly. And then with your left leg on top, whatever leg on top, you're going to go away from that leg for this final twist. So a little bit of a stronger twist. Like that. Feel that nice twist happening. Deep breath. And then very gently just coming back up to center. Find a quick little bit of clean work up. And then we'll do that side to side. So take your arm and leg up here. Both heels are pressed straight together. And then we do And then moving into your hamstring stretch on that side. Just really breathing. Nice, and then press that leg over. Let's go to put your right hand on top now and bring the front knees towards the left side. Take that final deep breath. And then let's go to push the heel outside, guys. Alright, we'll take our final little roll up and down the spine. Let's do that side of the feet and the back of the leg a little left side. Just take some little time to do it. Maybe relax the forearms muscles up and down our spine here. And then sit on those up high. And then finding that nice. their head around and just look forward to go all the way back. Thanks so much for coming to class.